This is how to put enamel on wood. Basically, I put some lamp oil in here. I put the filter and the bucket. So we're gonna go to town here. Uh, how to apply it. You basically want to get the paint on this window. Just get it on. Because you have, I would say, about how many minutes? About 10 minutes, 20 minutes, depending on the weather and temperature. I'm sorry, it's very difficult to do this with the phone and talk and... Okay, basically what I'm doing, I'm just getting it on the wood. And then, just get it on the wood. A little bit of a race. And then we're going to start from the top. This is a kind of a big window. This is taking a little bit of time. So you kind of try to race to get this stuff on because you want that playing time of pulling this oil you know because then you can kind of get perfect with it okay now that it's on it's all mostly on sorry I'm sticking the finger in the... okay the, this little part I'm um, this, this thinner part I'm just gonna put just like that Okay, um, let me see. Okay, here we go. It's all on, so I'm gonna try to go the position of the grains. And just lay your brush and pull. Lay your brush and pull. your brush and pull. You want it as straight as possible. Oh, I'm going in the opposite direction. Okay, now see my brush lines? They're perfectly Perfectly straight. I'm not getting it on the first try. I don't want to because why it's gonna look like hell That's up there If you try to get it on the first time and put it on so thick It's gonna look like shit. It just that's the way it is. So I know like people don't like to work anymore Just make your lines as straight as possible. Go with the grain. It doesn't take a lot. And remember, I put lamp oil on this. And this is gonna lay down nice. Always go from top to bottom. And I'm not expecting to get it on first coat, so I, I'd preferably have my lines straight, no runs. You know, that's another thing. You go too thick with this, you'll get a lot of runs. And then once you get those, you have to sand them out 
and it's a mother when you do. Window sills, when you get to them, you go this way, you go that way, and then you bring it, bridge it over. Then you go like, hold on, follow me. Try to keep it straight. Again, you need those lines straight. Make sure you don't have any pulls in the corners. I should have put tape on this, but I'm gonna sand that. So I'm gonna, that's a whole nother project because a lot of damage on that one. There we go. See that? See those lines? That's what you want. And you can look back and see those lines like that. Yeah. I think the camera's picking them up. That or I'm sounding like a lunatic. Okay. There we go. Well, that's how you put enamel on wood. I mean, there's not much I could tell you. I put lamp oil into my um, enamel, one cap, and um, what else? Um, I put a filter in my bucket, so if I get any crap in my brush, that normally happens 99.9% .9 of the time. It's there and it's going to stop me from putting it on the wood. And then, um, let me see, what else? I prepped. So this, this addition part is going to go good with this staircase because I did that. This is another project. Like I said, it, it's, it's a whole different ball game because you have, you're using those fine brushes and I'm, you're going back and forth and it can take uh, days because this stuff takes forever to dry. So when I go back on the black, I have to go back on the white and it's just a big mess. But besides that, it's, it is coming to shape a little bit. So, and I had to got, finally got a uh, brush to get in there. And that's about it. That's how you put an animal on. It's not too hard. Follow the grain, follow the one piece of wood that they made it with what direction it's going and you go with that so and um remember your prep if you don't prep it if you don't sand down old runs and all that you're just gonna bring down the value you it's gonna be shiny but who cares if you put the little work and effort into your prep it'll look beautiful well have a great day